Welcome to our video course series on blood pressure. In this series, we're going to cover what blood pressure is, how blood pressure is um, measured, the history of how it's measured, and what numbers actually mean. Also, the drugs used to treat it. Every doctor knows that the body is self-healing and self-regulating. Like all animal species on the planet, all animal species can regulate their own physiology. So what's actually broken in the body that can't regulate its own physiology? We're going to cover how the body works and the function of blood, which is vital to learn. Um, once you realize that your body is self-healing and self-regulating, you're not going to look at blood pressure as a definitive uh, measurement of physiology. It's a clue. It's a clue to how your body's adapting to the environment. But it is definitely not the silent killer and that needs to be controlled with a chemical. We're going to look at the causes and the adaptive physiologic response, which is what blood pressure actually is. You're going to love this course series. It's going to, it's going to crack your skulls open. What is blood pressure? I know that seems like a basic question. Because every time you go to a healthcare professional, what's the first thing they do? They check your blood pressure. Well, what is blood pressure? I know that's kind of like asking, what's the sky? But if you think about it, blood has an actual function. And are they measuring the pressure? What kind of pressure are they measuring? How is it measured? When was it first measured? And what are appropriate numbers? What are inappropriate numbers? We're going to explore this in detail. So what's the first step? I gotta tell you right now, the first step is to ask the right questions. Uh, so let's look at this. Let's look at the questions you should be asking and let's look at the common questions that are asked. Let's look at the allopathic questions. So when you go to the medical system, uh, what are the most common allopathic questions? How can I feel better? What do I got? How do I treat it? What drug or therapy do I take? We know the end result of those questions. But what type of questions should you be asking? Now, 